dealing with Vagar is quite a problem that people can't really just automatically know the answer to when they jump into the game. Jump into the game, they see Vagar on the opposite team. They're like, oh lord. We let Vagar get through. Because there's only so many people you can ban. You can only ban six people. And the 100% pick and bans are like Kindred, Brand, Malzahar. Ever since the um, the Mage update, Vagar's gotten a lot stronger. He, he was still really strong, but not a lot of people played Vagar. But now, since he can literally gain AP off any ability hitting the um the opponent, he's gotten a lot stronger. And he's pretty much that automatic mid lane pick. Now before the automatic mid lane picks like Zed, Yasuo, A D um Assassins, or Ari or stuff like that. Or LeBlanc or Azir. Now the majors are coming back and if you don't ban them then they're gonna like hurt you really bad. Like Brand, Brand can murder you in one combo. That's like 60% of your health gone. So, and Vagar is similar. He could literally kill you with one combo as long post level six. But the best thing to do against a Vagar is to shut him down early. Dodge his skill shots. Base, like, yeah, dodge his skill shots. Because now with the new mage update, he could gain, he can gain AP just hitting you with stuff also while being able to gain AP from killing minions with his Q. Before you'll be able to push him back towards his tower so he can only so he can only hit the minions by his tower. Which really made him gain less AP. But now it's gonna be a lot harder to do that because now if he just hits you with an ability he gains AP, so he's constantly getting stronger no matter what, to the point where he does not even have to go full AP. He could literally go maybe Morello, like cooldown items, Morellos. He can go like three AP items, Morellos, Zanyas, Rabadon, since go rest, magic resist, and he can really destroy any other mid laner in lane, just off combo, and he'll still be able to live by the time his um his uh stuff comes back up. But no best way to deal with uh Vagar in lane is to shut him down early. Now I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna shut him down early? Like that's like the most cliche thing to ever say. Cause that's with every champion. But with him With Vagar, it's so much more straightforward. You don't even need your jungler to help you out with that. As long as you do not get hit by his abilities and do not let him gain AP, then you're going to be perfectly fine. Because notice, all the Vagars that you see that are getting really fed are like 10-0. And, and that's like even before um they leave, leave landing phase. So as long as you have your jungler help you out, then you're going to be perfectly fine. Like, be really aggressive on, towards him before he hits um, level 3. Because once he hits level 3, it's pretty much over. He's going to start off with his Q. And then he's going to go, um, he's going to get his E second so he can capture you. And it hits you with his Q. If you get, That's not that much of a problem unless he gets his W. When he gets his W third and then he's, and he traps you with the E, then that's pretty much, that's 2 AP right there. And every time he does that to you, you may be thinking, okay, he's not really doing that much damage to me. But he's going to continually do more and more damage, especially when he gets more AP items. Probably going to build a Dark Seal, too, which is only going to make him even more stronger. So, try to have a safe landing phase while also being aggressive at the same time. Now, of course... Don't take what I say, literally, because everybody plays different. But you could definitely, definitely um, benefit from knowing this information. Because Vagar post level, I mean, post, um, Vagar post mage update is some of the hardest things that I've ever even come across. 
but it's easy to shut down. Just like our brand is easy to shut down, the mouse heart is easy to shut down. Extremely easy. The end.